is Christian Ruggieri. We are at Marula Studios, home of Unico Designs, where they turn old flip-flops into jewelry, placemats, bottle stoppers, and many other interesting and artistic products. Behind me is the pile of flip-flops that they have collected, both from the coast of Kenya, those that have washed up from the shore, and flip-flops they have collected from the slums around Nairobi. My name is Julie Church. I am Kenyan. Um, and I am a marine conservationist and I started working with the Worldwide Fund for Nature in northern Kenya on the border of Kenya and Somalia in 1997. During my time there I met the communities and they were collecting the flip-flops and um, basically recycling them. Then I found the children actually making toys and these sort of things, these recycled flip-flops. So then I decided, well, you know, it's part of my my work as a marine conservationist be to try and um, promote um, the sale of these items just to help the cycle go around, clean up the earth, give some people income in a very, very remote place in Kenya. And people have always asked, you know, aren't you running out of, out of flip-flops? And we will never run out of flip-flops up in the north of Kenya. We are here at the Unico Designs workshop where the people behind me are giving new life to old flip-flops. To make one of these recycled creations, you start by cutting the flip-flops. <laughs> these flip-flops are harder than they look. Next, you glue the sides. Okay. Finally, okay. you stick them together two by two. Ooh, this go very strong. <laughs> when you have enough for a block of flip-flops, you can start carving necklaces, keychains, and sculptures. You know, we've got a variety of uh, sculptures that we make, which are quite fun. And they're not made from wood or, you know, they really are made from rubbish. We do them in different sizes small and you can do a collection of animals. Mainly our stock has been the flip-flops from the, from the beaches and which is interesting because each, each flip-flop has its story and then you can get the makes, white dove it's called and that's actually from Tanzania and then you get others which I know come from Indonesia and Malaysia and some come across from China so you get to know your sort of flip-flop species that travel the oceans and um, they tell us about the currents of the ocean. You know, sticking to the marine theme, we make bath toys, bath plugs. For me, the ocean is it is um, has been very undervalued globally, and that's and I'm very very passionate about the ocean and it and what it offers to us. But hopefully through this, in time, we, people will get to know that you know we are making a difference in Africa, not elsewhere. We're making a difference in Africa, collecting other people's trash and recreating it into humorous, beautiful, interesting items. So here, these ladies, Maasai ladies, what they're doing, they're doing what we call beadwork. So this is what we call beads. They're made out of flip-flops. So it's just the punching machine. We punch, we get several of these. Then it's put into a string form. So we make curtains out of this. Then these ladies, what they do, they do a lot of beading. They put it in wire. Then uh, this, this is the outcome. You know, the women were very instrumental. This would never have happened without the women taking it on. So without their creativity and their dedication to, to do it, you, we wouldn't be where we are now. And, and now, you know, I call them the young boys because they were 10 years ago. And they, you know, they'll make some beautiful fish and dolphins and everything else and they're selling all over Lamu. So they're earning an income from their creativity. And I think art, art is a really important medium for conservation and development. If, you, if you're able to provide an income to the young men so that they're actually make, using their craft to earn some money, then they're going to be fishing less. So it's reducing the pressure on the already 
um, threatened habitats or fisheries and getting them to do something else. You're cleaning up the ocean, more people are earning income and it, it, it's art um, and it's their art. I keep my dream, you know, the dream of, of being able to make the difference, being able to tell people how fantastic the oceans are and being able to say, you know, in Africa we are a, we are a solution to a global problem. You know, pollution is a global problem. And, you know, through art and crafts, which started right on the north of the coast of Kenya, hopefully we'll be able to, to make a, a wee difference in the world, however small that may be.